Okay. So first, just a little bit about me. I um, I started freelancing a long, long time ago when my kids were first born because I couldn't stand sitting in stupid meetings in the office anymore so that I could do it from home and be with my kids more. And then I have been freelancing for 23 years now. So that's a long time. I do also have a full-time job now, but over that time, I learned a lot of things, made a lot of mistakes. So hopefully you can benefit from some of the things I've learned. Some of these are going to be kind of hot takes. So not all the freelancers will agree with me, but I will um, tell you my own personal opinion. The first question we see a lot, I am in the write the docs doc slack a lot. One of the questions we um, see a lot is, how do you get started if you've never had a job in technical writing as a freelancer? And my short answer is if you've never worked anywhere as a freelance as a technical writer, freelancing is not for you. You don't get started. You need to have a full time job first as a technical writer somewhere to get the experience that you need to to make a success of freelancing. The second question I wrote a list over here is why I keep looking to the side is um, how do you get started or how do you find clients? And I will say I've experimented with lots of different things. The best way that I have found to find clients is to hit up people that you have worked with in the past. I go through and talk to all of my LinkedIn contacts, say, hey, you know, uh, if you've heard of anything, if you know, know of anyone, and it's often not the person that I'm contacting who says, I have a job, it's, um, they say, oh, I know someone who knows someone, maybe know someone who knows someone who, know, who knows someone. I know some people really like to use the job boards at like Upwork and those kind of things. I have never once found, found a good successful job that paid the rate that I was looking for going through a job board for freelancing. Um, the next big question is how do you decide how much to charge? And so for that, you need to start by thinking about how much you want to make per year. And then you need to add in all the extra things, things like the, the expenses you're, you're going to have for overhead, the um, things that you're, you're going to need for um, taxes, the things that you're going to need to give yourself some vacation time and add that in. And so then you'll have kind of an annual salary rate. Then you need to figure that you're going to be working actual billable hours about five hours a day. It will not be eight hours a day. Start with five. Maybe as you freelance more, you'll get it up higher. But think about working five hours a day and then um, figure out what your hourly rate should be. But then I'm going to say this is probably the biggest hot take I'm going to tell you. I don't think that you should work hourly unless you really have to. There, there's a couple if when you're just starting out and you don't know how project how long projects are going to take, maybe you charge hourly then. Or if you're working 40 hours a week for a particular client, then obviously you you should be or uh, then you should be hourly. Otherwise, if you can, you should work on a per project or a per word basis, depending on the type of project that you're in. Um, so uh, kind of the, the number that you came up with with your hourly rate when you were figuring out um, ki kind of uh, what you wanted to make per year, that's your floor rate. Then you need to look at what the market will bear. And sometimes people will pay much more than, than your floor rate for a particular piece of content. And if you can, you want to make more. You're not gouging your, your, your customers by getting what the market will bear. And if you are um, experienced, then if you are working on an hourly rate, if you're experienced and you're pretty fast, you're actually shortchanging yourself because you're doing more work per hour than a much less experienced person would be, if that makes sense. So if you can do more work in a shorter period of time, you should get paid, you know, commensurate to the, the pay that you have. Um, and I'm going to stop there. I know some of those are hot takes, but those are that's my opinion. I think the bell just went off. Is that right? <laughs>